All right, welcome to another video. Um, not a running video today. Uh, I'm actually doing a little bit of walking. I'm training for the, the Three Peaks, uh, the Yorkshire Three Peaks, that is, um, in July. So I'm just getting a, trying to sort of do one kind of hilly, bit of a ramble in a week at the moment. So um, I'll take you out on today's walk. I'm starting from uh, Grindleford in the Peak District. And we're gonna go and, uh, well, I don't really know where we're going. We're gonna kind of head up, head up the valley towards a surprise view and uh, and just see where the mood takes us really so uh, stick around and enjoy the views if this is your first time watching one of my videos it'd mean the world to me if you'd uh, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notifications when I upload new videos lovely old semaphore signal still in use so coats off uh, already it's quite mild this morning we are due some uh, some heavy showers later on so my rucksacks well, he's weighing about seven kilograms at the moment slight exaggeration obviously um, but I've got so many layers um, waterproofs because you just don't know what it's gonna be like on the top Got some great memories of, uh, of Grindle from growing up because it's really accessible by train. So we spent a lot of kind of family days out, uh, family days out around here, um, and I've carried on doing that into my adult years. First big climb of the day, and the. Uh, the calves are getting an early workout. So I'm having a, a good scout around what was um, the old Bowl Hill Quarry. Um, and I'm gonna, I'll put up a link to a, another video that I'm shooting today. So this is Bowl. Bow Little Quarry was where they uh, they quarried all the stone for the Howden and Derwent reservoirs. Sorry, Howden and Derwent dams, the uh, the reservoirs, just uh, up the Derwent Valley from here. And it was uh, it was shipped out of here um, by train. Uh, and there's quite a bit of an interesting uh, history behind that. So uh, go and uh, go and have a look at that video. Big rumbles of thunder coming behind. So that was Lawrence Field, rock face, really popular with climbers, a couple of groups just uh, setting up there. So we're still climbing, so quite high up now.
and stop for a for a bite to eat before uh, before any rain starts to set in. A nice healthy, well balanced lunch there. Jelly babies, banana, saurine, and uh, sea brooks. Huge piles of, uh, of millstones stacked up. Look at them, there's loads. Look at all these. Oh, there must be hundreds of them. All down the sides as well. Wow. Both sides of the path, they're just strewn everywhere. So we're just leaving Bowl Hill Quarry now. I've spent around two and a half hours looking around uh, there, just having a having a snoop around basically. So I've crossed the main road from um, a surprise view just behind me, and I'm just going up the hill now, and I'm I'm going to kind of make my way up to uh, some of the tours up here. And uh, I don't really know how far I'm going. Um, I've only we'll see how we go. Still quite early, it's only midday. Could do with that when that thunderstorm hits, bit of shelter. According to the, the map that I'm carrying, this is a uh, grey millstone quarries. Maybe not. Looks like the remains of an old, old quarry. We're just below uh, Millstone Edge, so. steel rods sticking out so whenever I, I, I kind of I, I don't really get out in the peak districts rambling these much these days to be honest um, I do probably do more running than anything else and I do know the peak district quite well especially around this area around what's the Hope Valley um, and I do rely I kind of rely heavily on GPS really I think more often than not it's reliable but I always I always carry one of these just in case and I've got a compass in the bag because you never know I mean the mobile phone signal um, I've got better signal up here than in my house it's not always been that way though but you never know with things like that can let you down so it's always good to have a, a backup copy just in case you do get lost and disorientated uh, and obviously there's a there's a weather as well the weather can close in really quick and you can get really disorientated but anyway, it's not a lecture, you don't need me to tell you, just use common sense. Lots of old ruins up, up this, uh, this way. This isn't a path I'm uh, familiar with.
can't believe how many old old mill buildings and things there are down here. I'm not seeing them on any uh, any maps. I might have to have a look on the uh, Library of Scotland uh, maps when I get home, see if there's anything on there. Thick trousers on today, can plough through those brambles. And I did the Chesterfield Canal um, explore last week, was it? The week before. Um, oh, I spent all afternoon pulling thorns out my leg in the shower. <laughs> See, that's why I, I love doing these videos, just finding things like that. I don't. I don't profess to be uh, Christopher Columbus or anything like that, but it's great just to to come across uh, come across old things like that. And there's more buildings in front, so we could have taken a scenic route along the top for the views, but um, I think this is much more interesting. So this is what the Peak District's all about. Still on the edge of a, a cliff face with 360 views. You've got Burbage Edge, uh, the whole sort of series of Burbage just to just to the left, um, and then down the bottom we can see right down down to the River Derwent and Grindleford, just out of view. We've got Hallisidge straight in front, Castleton in the distance. Then over to uh, Standard Edge. So this is uh, this is Ola Alva Tor. Sorry, get my words out. Over Aula Tor that we're coming up to now. Not to be confused with Aula Tor. Which was just the other side of the Hathersidge Road. Just picturing my wife's face now, stood this close to the edge. Right on the top part of the tour now. I was wondering if we can get up there. Don't put my inner child never leaves, does it? Try and climb as high as you can. I was, I was thinking of going over, um, keeping sort of going that way and coming back down Burbage Brook, um, down the other edge over there. Um, and I th the, the weather looks like it's closing in um, from over over the far side. So uh, I've still got a, a bit of a walk to get back down, um, back to the car, back to Grindleford. So uh, I think I'll start heading heading down now. I don't want to get 
I don't want to get caught out. I'll come back another day, we'll have a longer walk. It'll be about six miles. I've been out about four or five hours, so I think that's a good stretch today. And I believe this is Mother Cap. It's amazing how these get here. These formations, so impressive. But again, people are just sort of choosing to, to tag. Why, why? Why would people think that they need to leave a mark on something like this? Dinosaur or a seal. Think someone's purposely uh, gouged an eye into the or a lizard. Back on uh, Hathersage Road. <laughs> And uh, we've got Owlator just on the right hand side there. So we're just coming down towards Padley Gorge now with the, uh, the ice cream van. Parks straight in front there. Longshore Hall. House, whichever one. Massively popular place on warm days this at the weekend. And the ice cream van's there now, it's quite tempting. It's gone really dark now, you can probably tell. I'd be amazed if we uh, if we make it back to Grindleford without needing the without needing the raincoat. This is the start, really, really loud gushing today. It's had a lot of water um, these last few days, but this is the start of Padley Gorge and it's a straight, straight down drop from here into, uh, into Grindleford where we, uh, where we started. Here comes the rain, only around two kilometers to go now though. There's the thunder again. Not far from the car now. A long way up from the brook at the bottom. So thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this short little walk today. Traditionally I'd, uh, I'd finish a walk like this with a nice chip butty and a cup of tea at Grindleford Cafe but it's, uh, it's a bit wet outside and we're not allowed to eat indoors yet. Uh, but they, they don't have Heinz ketchup and I've not brought my travel ketchup with me today either.
But anyway, thanks again, take care, and I'll uh, see you all soon.